They say that when I open my mouth, I go viral most times. And um, But I'm of the belief that I don't particularly shock people most of the time. Usually I say stuff, I find it to be relatively predictable. If you know anything about me, you know what I'm going to say, depending on what the subject matter is. But every now and then, I guess I could throw a monkey wrench into the equation. And I think if ever there was a moment where that applied was regarding Taylor Swift. Now, y'all know that Taylor Swift has been on tour, you know, doing concerts all over the country. From my understanding, Newark, New York, Philadelphia, uh, Detroit, Chicago, Seattle, um, L.A., Boston, I think. Um, well, you know, she had six nights in L.A. Reportedly, those six nights brought about $320 million to the city of Los Angeles. Damn near a million of those dollars, I could easily argue, came out of my pocket. As we all know, I have two daughters. Much to my chagrin, they're teenagers. Um, basically a nightmarish period of time for, for daddies. I'm here to confirm that can be true at times, although I'm madly in love with them. And so <clears throat> the reason why it's a nightmare, because you have to understand that teenagers have friends. And so when your dad is perceived as having money, even though I would make an argument that there's plenty of them, their parents that have a lot more, and you got daughters that open their mouths and promises them that daddy's going to get them tickets. Lady Jim, I had to get 10 tickets. It's 10 tickets, y'all. So much for Christmas shopping. Them damn things was $2,000 a piece. Two times 10 is $20,000. Now, I know it's real popular to sit up there and try to count my dollars and try to think that I got money all over the place. Evidently, y'all don't see my check after Uncle Sam gets a hold of it and my agent fees and my bills. But I digress because I'm not going to whine about it. I understand. I do make more than the median household in the United States of America. I think that's safe to say. Okay, I got it. I got it. All right, I got it. But $20 knows. $20 knows. I spent that money to send my daughters to the concert. And then courtesy of my man Mark Shapiro, the president of WME, he had passes to Taylor Swift concert in L.A. in a suite with catered food, and he and he gave me and he gave me two free tickets. And not only did I send my daughters back to the concert because they wanted to see it again. Daddy actually went with her. Me at a Taylor Swift concert. Ladies and gentlemen, I haven't even been to a Beyonce concert yet. And we know how I feel about Beyonce. I ain't been to one of her concerts yet. I was too young and broke to go to a Michael Jackson concert. I ain't been to a Rihanna concert. Hello, Navy. Okay? I ain't been to a Rihanna concert yet. I went to a Jay-Z Kanye concert. But I ain't been to none of those concerts. None of these other concerts. But I said, you know what? I don't really listen to Taylor Swift music. And 
I'm going to go, all right? And too many damn people, they're kissing a tush, and, you know, they're sitting up there, and, you know, they're all really complimentary, and oh, she's nice. I met her once, took a picture with her. She was actually taller than me with her heels on. The point that I'm trying to make, because I digress, the point that I'm trying to make is that she's Taylor Swift, and she's a very nice person. I always thought that Kanye West, I agree with former President Barack Obama, he was a real asshole for taking her, her award, a trophy, and saying that Beyonce deserved it the Grammys years ago. That was very classless, Okay. But I said, I'm going to go see her. That's the best concert I've been to in my life. Excuse my language, but that shit was off the chain. Taylor Swift brought the damn house down. I was jamming to Taylor Swift. She was sensational. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd pay to see her again. I'd pay to see her again. Seriously. I'm not joking. I understand the techno stuff and, 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 and just the, the, the logistics. I mean, just the fire. I mean, everything about it. Ladies and gentlemen, she can't dance like Beyonce, and I get that. But Taylor Swift is a performer. She was a superstar that night. And I just got to take a moment to give her some love. That girl is special. They say she might have made about $5 billion with her tours. The Errors Tour is what it's called. It's projected to earn over a billion dollars in ticket sales, the biggest ever. But I'm going to tell you something. They say she made about $5 billion and she took home about $500 million. Worth every penny. That sister is legit. Ain't nothing but love for Taylor Swift. Highest grossing concert tours of all time. You see that, right? Elton John, Ed Sheeran. You too, Guns N' Roses, Not In This Lifetime, The Rolling Stones twice. You know, Coldplay, they deserve it. Roger Waters, never heard of him. ACDC, that's right. Shook me all night long. Oh, yeah, I know ACDC. Don't, don't sleep on Stephen A. And, of course, your man Harry Styles. By the way, Harry Styles, what was the name of that movie he was in? It was about a year, year and a half ago. I forgot what the name of it was, but he did a damn good job. He really did. Harry Styles is talented. Got mad respect for him, too. Just want to point that out there. But Taylor Swift, she about to be number one on that list, y'all. She about to be number one on that list. 